Meta forms hyperspace geometry. Let us begin by examining pi as the circumference of a circle whose radius is one half base unit or whose diameter is one. Expanding next upward from this, we see a square whose radius is one unit called the unit square comprised of sides of base two and a total area of base four squares. However, the circle we see outlining this square is not exactly of circumference base two pi because the radius of the circle supersedes the radius of the square by a certain margin seen here represented by the golden ratio. The radius of this circle is the diagonal square root of the base one unit cube, which is called the square root of two. We find in the second dimension that there are exactly 64 possible recombinations of the base four elements because 64 is two to the eighth or a unit squared hypercubed. Next, extending the basic radius one unit square into the next dimension upward, that of height in three dimensions. We can see how to derive the first simplest shape of the five regular three-dimensional solids. This shape, the tetrahedron, has four faces with three sides each. The next most complex shape, the cube, has six faces of four sides or edges each. Next, the octahedron, a double pyramid, one above and one below, has eight sides, each with three edges. The next most complex shape is the dodecahedron, which has 12 sides of pentagonal faces with three edges each. And lastly, the most complex form is the isosahedron, with 20 faces, each of three edges. These five regular three-dimensional rhombic solids can all be nested one inside another in this manner, such that a green octahedron is central inside a yellow cube within, in turn, a pale blue dodecahedron, which nests inside a dark blue isosahedron. Next, we will look at how each of these five regular three-dimensional solids nests within itself, beginning with the stelloctahedron, the so-called stellated octahedron, the nesting of one tetrahedron of equal size within the same area as another equal volumed tetrahedron. In three dimensions, we can see that the traditional oriental Sri Yantra is only comprised of eight different sized tetrahedrons nested within one another. Next, we will examine the cube which we see here nesting a tetrahedron outside an octahedron outside an isosahedron outside a dodecahedron. In the model we will be considering next the cube nests within another cube of the same area and volume. The shape we are seeing modeled here is called a hypercube or a nested cube within a cube which are of equal area and thus measure the same one cube over time, a fourth dimensional cube or a so-called tesseract such as this, has a total of 16 corners, 
12 faces, each of eight sides or edges. And we model it using motion to symbolize the fourth dimension. These anamorphic solids occur as we measure the diagonal across from one corner of a hypercube or tesseract to the corner opposite. Just as we have seen that a tetrahedron nested inside another tetrahedron, or the stalactahedron, is a hypertetrahedron, and that a cube nested inside another cube is a hypercube or tesseract, the next most complex polyhedral three-dimensional solid, we can assume four-dimensional shape four by nesting it within itself, is the dodecahedron of pentagonal sides with five edges each. Here we see the hyperspatial geometry of a hyper dodecahedron or a dodecahedron nested within another dodecahedron. Graphed according to a series of smaller and smaller or alternately larger and larger dodecahedrons within dodecahedrons creating an infinite feedback loop of pentagons. In this simple wireframe model we can see in green that the dodecahedron is formed as a stellation in purple extended from the isosahedron in blue centrally within. And here we see a dodecahedron in blue nesting within it a green isosahedron around a yellow tetrahedron around a red octahedron. Studying how these solids overlap one another provides us a manner to approach looking at how each shape overlaps itself in the fourth dimension when modeled as motion over time. The most complex three-dimensional rhombic solid to be examined here is the isosahedron of 20 triangular faces. Seen here alike a pentagon, we see the gray wireframe isosahedron is generated as an extension connecting the stellations extending outward in green from the yellow cube's interior red stalactahedron. As we see in this blue wireframe model, the isosahedron can itself be formed by connecting the tips of a stalactahedron, shown here in purple, that can in turn contain a dodecahedron, shown in green. Just as each one of these five regular rhombic solids in three dimensions can nest within it all the other four of the solids. And just as each solid creates an infinitely repeating loop when doubled with itself over time. And just as for the square in two dimensions, we examine 64 different possible combinations of elemental characters of four base each, so too do we see that all these same rules apply also to the dot, circle, orb, and hypersphere, or torus, where instead of linear edges forming flat sides, there are pi circumferential arcs forming circles within circles, orbs within orbs, or the hypersphere, a sphere within a sphere. Lastly, we measure the motion of the torus or hypersphere as it involutes through and around itself using a golden ratio spiral to measure its phi circumference over pi radius.